Action Car. The center of it is INA114. Okay. The gain has been considered as 50. Uh, there is a register RG uh, whose value is 1K. So the formula for this is uh, 50K divided by 1 plus RG. So as we have used 1K register here, uh, the uh, total gain will be 50. Now we have we are using two leads over here, one from left hand, one from right hand. Okay, uh, we have four set of registers. We are giving the body voltage through electrodes through two electrodes. We are giving it to a 470 ohm resistor, and that 470 ohm resistor is again being grounded with a 10k resistor in order to minimize the floating voltage uh, problem so when you keep the leads open uh, that should uh, uh, give you almost near to zero this has been driven by two batteries two nine volt batteries the plus of one is uh, made uh, uh, you know connected with the ground of the other such that one of the batteries ground becomes minus nine volt and this is plus nine volt plus 9 volt is given to pin number 7 and minus 9 volt is given to pin number 4 okay the output is taken from pin number 6 this is the output now i have no connection with the microcontroller i have switched off the microcontroller as you see microcontroller is switched off i have totally removed this so this is purely a data acquisition circuit how do you know that uh, this circuit is working properly so you can hold the ground this is the reference voltage just hold it with your hand and touch any of the electric any of the electrodes the light should be glowing the light should glow ideally yes you can see when you hold this too the light should be glowing this uh, clarifies that uh, you know your voltage that has been acquired through your electrode is uh, increased leave the electrode leave the electrode hold the ground line still you see there will be no light and when you uh, touch this one you will see that the light will be uh, you know uh, glowing and it will be blinking based on your ECG signal however the signal is so low that uh, it's difficult to see the blinking but you can still see the blinking stuff which will be depending upon the ECG values that uh, you are having okay now what we are going to do is we are going to connect this to Arduino pin number 4 pin from the left so you can see the connection over here uh, this is the Arduino connectivity so this becomes my total circuit okay now so we are going to connect the electrodes one uh, is on the left hand side the other one is on the right hand side the left hand side uh, electrode is the major voltage it goes to pin number two of your INA114 so that should be giving the signal I am going to now attach Arduino with the PC you will see the ECG signal coming you need to be a bit relaxed to get the entire QRS cycle there will be some noises because of measurement noise your muscle movement but if uh, the uh, movements and the other noises are low we are, we are filtering over here you will get a much more clearer ECG over here as you can see QRS complex much clearly over here now if you make your muscle movement if you induce your muscle movement uh, this noise will keep on getting increased as you can see the ECG signal keeps getting coming out now uh, if you increase the muscle noise if you induct the muscle noise you can see that uh, you know the noise part will keep getting increased so it uh, will clearly show you the muscle noise part 
right here and when it increases as you can see your muscle noise you'll see one large muscle noise area so you can understand that um, there is severe kind of noises when you relax your waveform will also be relaxed uh, more noisy you know uh, that is because of the muscle noise and when you uh, uh, reduce the muscle noise this is going to be much more clear so when we remove the electrode so you can see that uh, will be only noisy data this is this is nothing but the floating values as you can see it's almost uh, blurred but the floating values is uh, such that you know it will be changing when you give your hand or anything like that the signal will be pure the noisy signal and then when you actually put up your electrodes we're going to connect the electrodes and slowly it's going to recover your ecg signal it goes to 